Hi guys, and welcome back to the channel. This is the Harley Benton Tube 15 all valve guitar amplifier, but is it any good? Today we're going to take a deep dive and find out. So I just want to start by saying that I'm a guitar player too, just like you, and over the last 30 years or so I've been lucky enough to own and use some very interesting guitar amplifiers. I've always been in search of that holy grail tone that we're all looking for, either for live or for recording purposes, and I've got to say that this Harley Benton Tube 15 guitar amp is right up there with the very best tones I've ever had. And when I say this thing produces a great guitar tone, I don't just mean for the money, I mean for any amount of money. In this review we will look at the tech specs and hear how it sounds in a variety of different settings, but the most important thing is, what is its value? What does it deliver to me as a guitarist? And how do I feel about it? That's really what we're all looking for, right? So what first attracted me to the Harley Benton Tube 15? Well there are actually two reasons for that. Well I've got to say that initially it was the way this thing looked. It looks like a custom boutique amp. And of course the second and really big thing is that this is an all valve guitar amplifier. Totally analog, no digital model in anywhere, it's just a good old fashioned straight up tube amp. Now why as guitarists we prefer tube amps to solid state amps is open for debate and not something we're going to get into today. But suffice to say, over the years that I've been playing, i found that tube amps do produce a more harmonically rich overdrive sound, which feels a lot more creamy and a lot more responsive to the touch when you're playing. Over the years there have been some truly amazing professional players that have used both solid state or transistor amps and tube or valve amps. Of course there are just as many guitar amp styles out there as there are different genres of music, and it really depends what you're looking for as to which you might prefer to choose. So what we're going to do today is put this Harley Benton Tube 15 through its paces. We're going to listen to it in a variety of settings, clean, overdriven and then heavy distortion, and see what this thing can really deliver. Whether it's my own guitar playing, songwriting, or working with other musicians to record and produce their music, it's really important that a device like this, a guitar amplifier, really fits a purpose. It's a massive bonus if a small punchy guitar amplifier like this can cover a variety of bases. It really earns its place in the studio. So let's dial some tones in on this thing and have a listen to it. I really recommend some headphones or some studio monitors to listen through, then you'll get the full experience. Let's dive in.
So my final thoughts on this Harley Benton Tube 15 guitar amp are, in reverse order, number three, looks the business, number two, incredible value for money, and number one, sounds absolutely killer. I'm not joking, this thing sounds just as good as any guitar amp I've ever played through. Think of it this way, if we were to uncover the mythical Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and inside it we were to find the most famous amplifiers that have ever been made, would this amplifier stand up to them? If all of the volumes on all of the amplifiers were attenuated to be exactly the same, I do believe this would produce a fantastic tone in comparison to some of these all-time great amplifiers. That's no over-exaggeration, that's a conclusion I've come to using my own ears to hear what's coming out of that speaker. So guys, what did you think to that? I'm really interested to know your thoughts. Please stick them in the comments below and I'll be sure to get back to you. And if you enjoyed this video, please do hit the like button and be sure to subscribe to the channel for more content just like this. It really helps me to know that you're as into it as I am. Thank you.